Hey everybody, it's Susan of Inner Creative Voice. Uh, this is the second audio for the Sunday check-in. And uh, this week I wanted to talk to you about getting things off your mind and onto paper. So uh, first thing I'd like to ask you though before we start, have you put in all of your dates for your Sunday check-ins from now to the end of our session? If you haven't, go do that now. And then come back. And when you're back, uh, what I'd like to do is have you um, get out a piece of paper or your journal and have that ready. And we're going to do a little bit of writing um, for this activity. First, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, talking, um, taking things off of your mind and getting them onto paper. What do I mean by that? Well, your lifetime work is all about realigning everything all your time, realigning all your time to uh, connect with your own creative work, whatever that might be, your important creative work. So in order to do that, um, if you sit down and start to think, well, I need to do this and this and this and this, and all of a sudden your list starts growing and growing and growing, and there's so many things that you have to do that you just, you exhaust yourself, and our brains will, you know, say, I need this and I need this, and, you know, little hands going up here and there and saying, pick me, pick me, do me, do me, and they all have to be done right now. Ah, you ever feel that way? Well, anything that sends you off your creative path needs to be noted and then you can start to realign with your creative purpose. This takes daily awareness and practice. All of those things running through your mind feel like the most important thing at the time, but really you need to assess everything and find those things that are truly uh, deserving of your attention. So here's the exercise. Here's what I'd like you to try. Taking your journal or that piece of paper, at the top, just write stuff that is on my plate. And what I'd like you to do is turn off this audio and for 15 minutes, just write everything down. Everything. Uh, it's going to rain tomorrow. I can't believe no one signed up for my workshop. I have the dishes to do. The car needs maintenance. The cat box needs to be done. My daughter's not cleaning up her bedroom. My parents are getting older and they need help. All of those things, everything that's on your mind, write it down. So go ahead and turn off this audio, and when you turn it back on, I'll give you the next steps. Okay, so you've taken those 15 minutes, you've written everything down, you've got a huge list, I'm sure, and on that list, what I'd like you to do right now is take a look. What are the things on that list that are completely out of your control? Completely out of your control. If they are out of your control, cross them off. Things like, what if it rains? What if no one shows up to my workshop? Um, what if the dishes don't get done by my daughter because I asked her to do them? All of those things that you're really not in control of, cross them off. And then start to take a look. What's left on your list? Taking a look at what's left on your list my mentor um, talks about actually as you cross those off uh, saying I release you I release you and just kind of letting those go giving them up letting them go they'll get taken care of on their own you have other important things to focus on and my mentor talks about um, your creative high important activities that's what you're gonna look for next with what's left on your list put stars by those activities that are so important to your creative being, so important to your self-care, the things that are going to allow you that you're in control of to set the tone and set your intention for the week. What are your creative high important activities? Put stars by those. Take some time to do that right now. So often we live reactively. We think that we have to do everything right now when what we really need to do is take off what we can't control, take a look at what we can control and what we want to have in our lives and bring that to the forefront. Bring that to the top, like the cream at the top. Bring that to the top so that's where we can place our focus. So that's where you can place your focus. What's creative high importance or chi to you? And if you would, Take a few of those and put them onto our Facebook page so we can start to see what are you noticing? Are you noticing that you're already doing that the last few Sundays? 
Are you noticing what's important to you creatively? Are you putting those things first in your life? Are you becoming more aware when that happens? That's really the important piece of taking a look at your priorities. What's important creatively to you? So share with us in the comment area. You can listen to this audio several times if you need to. If you have any questions, let me know. Again, it's Susan, and I look forward to connecting with you on the next audio and on our Facebook page. Bye.